in module 1 we have seen that if we have two linearly independent solution then we can easily find the general solution of the second order differential equation. However, it is not always easy to find two linearly independent solution. If we know one linearly independent solution, then there are methods by which we can find the another. In module 2, we will learn about that. Also, we will learn how to find a particular integral of the second order differential equation using the method of variation of parameters. Reduction of order. We know that once we have two linearly independent solutions x1 t and x2 t, then it is easy to write the general solution of the homogeneous equation x double dash plus p t x dash plus q t x equal to 0. But finding two linearly independent solution is a difficult problem when the coefficients are not constants. There is no general method for doing this. But we may reduce our problem of finding two linearly independent solution by finding one non-zero solution of one. Once we have one solution of one, say x1 t, then we can find all the solution of one by solving only a first order linear homogeneous differential equation. The method by which we do so is called method of reduction of order. Let x1 t be a non-zero solution of 1, so that c x1 t is also a solution of 1 for any constant c. The basic idea is to replace this constant c by an unknown function v t and then to determine v in such a manner that x2 t is equal to v x1 t be a solution of 1. Now please recall that the linearly independence of two solutions x1 t and x2 t requires that the ratio x2 by x1 must be a non-constant function of t, say v in this case. And if we can find such v, then since we know x1, we have x2 and we have solved our problem. Since by assumption x2 is equal to v x1 is a solution of 1, we have x2 double dash plus p t x2 dash plus q t x2 equal to 0. And we try to discover the unknown function v t such that equation number 2 is true. We substitute x2 equal to v x1 and we get the expression x dash 2 is equal to v x 1 dash plus v dash x 1 and x 2 double dash is equal to v x 1 dash plus 2 v dash x 1 dash plus v double dash x 1. We substitute these two expressions in equation number 2 and we get v multiplied by x 1 double dash plus p t x 1 dash plus q t x 1 plus v double dash x1 plus v dash multiplied by 2 x1 dash plus p x1 equal to 0. Since x1 is a solution of 1, we will have x1 double dash plus p t x1 dash plus q t x1 will be equal to 0 and the above expression will reduce to v double dash x1 plus v dash multiplied by 2 x1 dash plus p x1 equal to 0. This is a linear differential equation of first order in v dash and we can find v as follows. We integrate the above expression and we will get log of v dash is equal to minus 2 log x1 minus integration p dx. Simplifying further, we will get v dash is equal to 1 by x1 square e to the power minus integration p dx and hence integrating one more time we will get v equal to integration 1 by x1 square e to the power minus integration p dx dx. Since v as given by 3 is not a constant, solution x1 and x2 are actually linearly independent as claimed.
Let us look into this example, where we have to find the general solution of the following linear homogeneous differential equation T x double dash minus 2 T plus 1 x dash plus T plus 1 x equal to 0, where T is positive. To find the general solution, we will need two linearly independent solutions. As we have discussed that if we know one solution, then second linearly independent solution we can find using the method of reduction of order. To find one solution, we can easily observe that in this particular problem, x1 is equal to e to the power t is one such solution of 4. Please note that this solution e to the power t is known previously, otherwise you have to do it by trial and error. We rewrite equation number 4 as x double dash minus 2 plus 1 by t into x dash plus 1 plus 1 by t into x equal to 0. When we compare this with the previous general equation, we will get that the function p t in this case is equal to minus 2 plus 1 by t and the second linearly independent solution may be given by x2 is equal to some v times x1, where x1 is e to the power t. Hence, from equation number 3, if we take that as a formula, we will get v is equal to integration 1 by x1 square e to the power minus integration p t dt, which is equal to integration e to the power minus 2 t multiplied by e to the power 2 t plus log t dt. And after simplification, we will get just integration t dt, which is equal to t square by 2. And this implies that x2 is equal to e to the power t multiplied by t square by 2. And hence, our general solution is xt is equal to c1 e to the power t plus c2 e to the power t into t square by 2, where c1 and c2 are arbitrary constants. Our next example, we have to find the general solution of x double dash minus t f t x dash plus f t into x equal to 0. As in the previous example, we observe that x 1 t is equal to t is a non-zero solution of 7. This can be easily verified if you substitute x equal to t in equation 7 and you will see both left hand side and right hand side is becoming 0. To find the second linearly independent solution x 2 t, we find a function v t such that x 2 is equal to v x 1. Here, p t is equal to minus t f t and hence by 3, we will get v t equal to integration 1 by t square e to the power integration t f t d t and the general solution will be given by x t is equal to c 1 t plus c 2 t integration 1 by t square e to the power integration t f t d t d t. Please note, since f t is not given in this case, we would not be able to find the integration here. But however, if you put f t to be any integrable function, for example, 1 by t minus 1, we will be able to find the integration and the complete solution, the general solution of the given differential equation. If we take f t is equal to 1 by t minus 1, then we will be getting the differential equation as x double dash minus t by t minus 1 x dash plus 1 by t minus 1 x equal to 0. And in this case, the v t you can be easily integrable is equal to 1 by t square into t minus 1 e to the power t d t, which is equal to e to the power t by t. Hence, this implies that x 2 is equal to e to the power t and hence the general solution of the given differential equation is x t equal to c 1 t plus c 2 e to the power t. We have just learned a technique where given a linearly independent solution, we can find another solution which is also linearly independent. We will now learn how to find a particular integral 
of a second order differential equation using the method of variation of parameters. We will now discuss the method of variation of parameters. It is a very important and general method to find a particular solution of a non-homogeneous equation of the form x double dash plus p t x dash plus q t x equal to r x, provided that the general solutions of the corresponding homogeneous equation x double dash plus p t x dash plus q t x equal to 0 is already known. Here p t and q t may not be a constant function. Let x 1 and x 2 be two linearly independent solution of 12. Then its general solution is given by x t equal to c 1 x 1 t plus c 2 x 2 t, where c 1 and c 2 are arbitrary constants. Now to find a particular solution of 11, we will replace the constant c 1 and c 2 by unknown functions v 1 t and v 2 t such that x equal to v 1 x 1 plus x 2 v 2 will be a solution of the homogeneous equation 11. Since we are replacing the constants c 1 and c 2 by parameters v 1 and v 2 and trying to find the particular solution by varying v 1 and v 2 as a function of t, this may be the reason why we call it as a method of variation of parameter. In fact, reduction of order method may also be considered as a special case of the variation of parameter method. To find two unknown functions, we need to have two equations relating these functions. These two functions are arbitrary functions and the only restriction we are putting on them is that 14 is a solution of 11. So we will try to choose another condition to make our calculation simple. Now if we differentiate x, we will be getting x dash is equal to v1 x1 dash plus v2 x2 dash plus v1 dash x1 plus v2 dash x2. If we differentiate it one more time, then the second derivatives of the unknowns v1 and v2 will also appear and will make our job difficult. To avoid this, we choose our second condition that v1 and v2 are such functions that the expression in the parenthesis is equal to 0. That is v1 dash x1 plus v2 dash x2 is equal to 0 given by equation number 16. This gives x dash is equal to v1 x1 dash plus v2 x2 dash. Differentiating again, we will get x double dash is equal to v1 x1 double dash plus v1 dash x1 dash plus v2 x2 double dash plus v2 dash x2 dash. On substituting 14, 17 and 18 into 11 and rearranging the terms, we will get v1 multiplied by x1 double dash plus p x1 dash plus q x1 plus v2 multiplied by x2 double dash plus p x2 dash plus q x2 plus v1 dash x1 dash plus v2 dash x2 dash is equal to rx. Since x1 and x2 are the solution of 12, we will have x1 double dash plus p x1 dash plus q x1 equal to 0 and x2 double dash plus p x2 dash plus q x2 is equal to 0. And then equation number 19 will reduce to v1 dash x1 dash plus v2 dash x2 dash is equal to rx given by equation number 20. Thus, x equal to v1 x1 plus v2 x2 is a particular solution provided v1 and v2 satisfies the two condition given by 16 and 20 in two unknowns v1 dash and v2 dash. We solve the equations using Cramer's rule and which gives us equation 21 given by v1 dash is equal to 
minus x2 rx divided by w x1 x2 and v2 dash is equal to x1 rx divided by w x1 x2. It should be noted that this formula is valid if and only if the Ronskian of x1 and x2 in the denominator is non-zero, which is followed by the linear independence of x1 and x2. We now integrate equation 21 to find v1, v2 and we get expressions in equation 22 given by v1 equal to integration minus x2 rx divided by w dx and v2 equal to integration x1 rx divided by w dx. Using 22 into 14, we will have the particular solution in the form x equal to x1 integration minus x2 rx divided by w dx plus x2 integration x1 r divided by w dx. We may observe that in 22, we have taken both the integration constants as 0, but if we take non-zero constants d1 and d2 in 22, then 14 will give general solution of 11 in the form x equal to d1 x1 plus d2 x2 plus x1 times integration minus x2 r by w dx plus x2 times integration x1 r by w dx rather than the particular solution 23 of 11. The only difficult part of this method may be the integration. Also, it is necessary to know the general solution of 12 to start the process, but the same may be even further reduced to know only one solution of 12 as we can always employ the method of reduction to find the second solution and hence the general solution of 12. We now look into the example where we have to find the general solution of t square x double dash minus 2x is equal to t square where t belongs to the closed interval a b, a being positive. To find the general solution of 25, we need the general solution of the homogeneous problem t square x double dash minus 2x equal to 0 and a particular solution of the non-homogeneous problem given by 25. First, we find the general solution of the homogeneous problem 26. Since it is the Cauchy-Euler equation, let x equal to t to the power r be a solution where r is a constant, which is to be determined by the fact that x t is a solution of 26. And hence, we have t square into r into r minus 1 t to the power r minus 2 minus 2 times t to the power r equal to 0. Since t to the power r is not equal to 0, we will get r into r minus 1 minus 2 equal to 0 and if we factorize it, we will get r minus 2 into r plus 1 equal to 0, which gives r equal to 2 and minus 1. Hence, x1 equal to t square and x2 equal to t to the power minus 1 are two solutions of 26. Since the Ronskian of x1, x2 is minus 3, therefore the general solution of t square y double dash minus 2y equal to t square is given by yt is equal to v1t x1t plus v2t x2t, where from 22 we can calculate v1 is equal to minus integration 1 by t divided by minus 3 dt, which is equal to log t divided by 3 and v2 t is equal to integration t square by minus 3 dt, which is equal to minus t cube by 9. Hence, the general solution of 25 is y t is equal to c1 t square plus c2 t to the power minus 1 plus 1 by 3 t square log t minus t square by 9.
In our next example, it is given that one of the solution of the differential equation x double dash plus p t x dash plus q t x equal to 0 is given as x 1 equal to 1 plus t whole square. And also the Ronskian of any two solution of the differential equation given by 28 is a constant. We have to find the general solution of x double dash plus p t into x dash plus q t into x is equal to 1 plus t. Let x 2 be another solution of 28. And since the Ronskian of x 1 and x 2 is given to be constant, we assume that value to be capital W. And therefore, the Ronskian is given by 1 plus t whole square into x 2 dash minus 2 times 1 plus t x 2 and that value is equal to constant which we have assumed to be capital W. Rearranging the terms, we will get x 2 dash minus 2 by 1 plus t x 2 is equal to W by 1 plus t whole square, which is a first order linear differential equation. So, by reduction of order method, we will get x 2 is equal to x 1 v, which is equal to 1 plus t square into v, which is equal to 1 plus t square integration w y 1 plus t whole to the power 4 d t. And if we integrate this, we will be getting this is equal to minus w divided by 3 into 1 plus t. Hence, the general solution of 29 is given by x equal to c 1 x 1 plus c 2 x 2 plus v 1 x 1 plus v 2 x 2. Now, from 22, we will have v 1 is equal to integration 1 plus t divided by w into x 2, where we substitute this value of w and simplify and integrate and get the result to be t by 3. In the similar manner, we can calculate v 2, which is equal to 1 plus t whole to the power 4 divided by 4 w. Hence, our general solution is x equal to c 1 into 1 plus t whole square plus c 2 into 1 by 1 plus t plus t into 1 plus t whole square by 3 minus 1 plus t whole cube divided by 12. In the next example, we will find the particular solution of the differential equation x double dash plus x is equal to 1 by sin t. Let us first find two linearly independent solution of the homogeneous problem x double dash plus x is equal to 0. We can easily show that the two linearly independent solution of 31 is given by x 1 t is equal to sin t and x 2 t is equal to cos t. The Ronskian of x 1 and x 2 is given by x 1 x 2 dash minus x 2 x 1 dash, which is equal to minus of sin square t minus cos square t, which is equal to minus 1. The particular solution of 30 is given by the expression x p is equal to v 1 x 1 plus v 2 x 2, where by 22 we will have v 1 equal to integration minus of cos t into 1 by sin t divided by minus 1 d t. And if we integrate this, we will be getting log of sin t. In the similar manner, v 2 is integration sin t into 1 by sin t divided by minus 1, which is the value of the Ronskian d t. And if we integrate this, the answer is minus t. Hence, the particular solution of 30 is given by v 1 x 1 plus v 2 x 2 which is equal to sin t log of sin t minus t cos t. In the final example, we will use the method of variation of parameter to solve the equation x square y double dash plus x y dash minus y equal to x square e to the power x. In this particular problem, we will not directly use the formula but we will use the theory to solve 
uh, this particular differential equation in a stepwise manner. The given differential equation is marked as 32. Now, if we put the right hand side to be 0, then the equation becomes x square y double dash plus x y dash minus y equal to 0, which is a homogeneous equation or the Cauchy Euler equation given by equation 33. We put x equal to e to the power z and our 33 reduces to d square minus 1 into y equal to 0, where d is the operator d d z given by equation number 34. The auxiliary equation is m square minus 1 equal to 0 gives m equal to plus minus 1. Hence, the general solution of 33 is y equal to a e to the power z plus b e to the power minus z equal to a x plus b by x, where a and b are arbitrary constants. Let the complete solution of 32 be of the form y equal to a x multiplied by x plus b x multiplied by 1 by x, where a x and b x are functions of x, so chosen that 32 is satisfied. Differentiating 33, 36 with respect to x, we get dy dx is equal to a dash x into x plus a x plus b dash x into 1 by x minus b x into 1 by x square given by 37. We choose the function a x and b x such that a dash x into x plus b dash x into 1 by x is equal to 0. Then our equation 37 reduces to dy dx is equal to a x minus b x into 1 by x square which on differentiation gives d 2 y dx square equal to a dash x minus b dash x into 1 by x square plus 2 b x into 1 by x cube. Using 36, 39 and 40, equation number 32 reduces to a dash x minus b dash x into 1 by x square equal to e to the power x given by equation 41. We next solve equation 38 and 41 and we will be getting a dash x equal to half of e to the power x, which on integration gives half of e to the power x. Similarly, b dash x is equal to minus half of x square e to the power x, which on integration gives minus half x square e to the power x plus x e to the power x minus e to the power x. We substitute the values of a x and b x in 36 and we get the required solution as y equal to c 1 x plus c 2 into 1 by x plus e to the power x minus e to the power x into 1 by x, where c 1 and c 2 are arbitrary constants. Please note in this particular example, x is our independent variable and y is our dependent variable. In the previous examples, t was our independent variable and x was our dependent variable. Please note that. In this module, we have learned that given one solution, we can find another solution of the second order differential equation. We have also learned how to find the particular integral of a second order differential equation using the method of variation of parameters. In our next module 3, we will learn to find the solution, the power series solution of the ordinary second order differential equation. Thank you.